Hey guys, so over the weekend my friend Astrid came over and we decided to cut her fingers off and I will show you how. Um, you really only need a very sharp knife and some fingers, so it's easy, anybody can do it. Um, but no, the first step is uh, we taking some gelatin. Um, you can buy this pre-made or you can make your own. I will put links in the description box to help you guys figure that out. Um, and after it's melted, I'm going to color it by adding some grease paint that is um, similar color to Astrid's skin. I'm going to add some flocking powder and this blood red and this blue color. And then we're going to mix it all together. I'm going to link to you a video as well um, which shows how to make these gelatin finger molds by Stuart Bray because it's just easier and quicker than me just remaking the whole thing basically. So yeah, I'm cast her fingers in um, casting silicon. Um, and now we are filling them with the gelatin and once they're full we're gonna put them in the freezer to help them set more quickly and once they're set we're gonna get the gelatin fingers out which we found quite difficult I don't think the kind of silicon we used was easy to release it um, but we, we got there eventually um, four fingers we only ended up using three but we we weren't intending to use four at the beginning um, now to match them better to her with the rest of her hand. I figured it would be cool if we painted her fingernails and those fingernails all pink so they had this continuity through them. And now we're going to cut it down to the right point so that where her knuckle bends the finger connects there so we had to cut them a little bit shorter. We're going to connect them using sculpt gel. The first time I did this we did um, with melted gelatin but I find it sets too fast and so I'm going to try using sculpt gel for this one to see if the, the slower setting time kind of helps us to get the detail and um, realism in that joint. So we're just kind of filling all the gaps of the sculpt gel and we're trying to keep it quite thin on the knuckle and, and the um, gelatin finger and just mostly fill in the gaps around the sides. So we did that with all three fingers. Um, we did an initial coat and then once that was done we're going over it again with a second coat. The initial coat kind of stuck it in place and then the second coat we got the details in. Um, really we should have put a glue down before the first coat to keep it in place. That would have helped and then the second coat of sculpt gel to kind of get the details in. So I'm using a stipple sponge to try and smooth it out and we've got like a little tiny metal tool to kind of sculpt in those creases and details in the, in the knuckles. Um, and once that's all set, I'm going to start colouring. So we started out with some um, blue vein tone from the Skin Illustrator Flesh Tones palette and then some rose adjuster to add some pinky reds back in. Now I'm using like a little bit of a darker flesh tone to try and cover up the lightness of the skin illustrator, I mean, to try and cover up the lightness of the sculpt gel in the joints, and then trying to lighten the gelatin fingers um, with a lighter flesh tone colour from the flesh tones palette. Just cleaning up a bit of tissue. <laughs> They're so bendy. Now going back in with some more pinks. bring some blood into the gelatin um, and now I'm going to go over it because the ends were kind of too dark so instead of trying to lighten the ends more I'm going to try and darken her fingers to try and make the, the whole finger look the same colour. <laughs> a bit messy. It's just in, um, just in layers darkening that. Kind of looks like freckles. You can see it's almost matching. It's pretty good. Jelly fingers. No bone though. <laughs> I had fun doing that. <laughs> oh, okay, so my camera stopped filming, but we did cut off the first finger. Um, I actually drew a line across to make sure they were going to line up properly. So I'm cutting along the line. So we cut off the second finger. We cut off the third finger, and it, it felt pretty weird doing this. I'm not going to lie. It felt like she, Ashley was screaming, so it didn't it didn't help. She was messing around with my brain. And so um, we're going to melt the gelatin. You can use a candle. We're using a lighter to melt the gelatin and then with a tool press it in and get some kind of meaty textures. <laughs> this looks nice and safe. <laughs> and But seriously, be careful. I mean, I'm just, yeah, as soon as the gelatin's melted, we're going to press into it with the tool to get some meaty texture. I'm going to seal it all with bed knife final seal so that the blood sits nicely on the gelatin. 
now we're going to paint the end. So um, we're just using a mix of the aged blood and blood tone from the Skin Illustrator FX palette. We're just building it up in layers. So you'll see it becomes slowly more and more opaque as each layer is put down. So Astra's nearly finished painting the fingers, getting a little bit on the sides. All good, looks good. All right, this is where we're at now. And we're gonna add the blood. So we started by putting the blood on the wounds first. This is um, my favorite blood, Kensington Gore by Mold Life in Aged. I'm gonna get some blood. It's messily on the on the counter on the table. Get the stipple sponge and a tissue to help me kind of spread it around. Puddle. Yeah, and uh, we are done. I also, I cleared up that little ball of silicon between the fingers, which is annoying me a lot right now, but we did clear it up before the photos. So just pretend it's not there right now. Um, and you can see kind of how it works. So you can lift your fingers up pretty far before you see the fingers underneath. But otherwise, from this angle, it works pretty well. Some detail for you. Oh yeah, follow me on Instagram. I love it. I love Instagram. Yeah, here's, here's how it works. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll show, you, I'll show you this video from my phone as well. So the first time we did this, um, we just did the one fingertip. So you can do the one fingertip, you can do multiple fingertips. Um, you can, you know, you can do it at the knuckles like we did, but you could really, you could bend all of your fingers down and just push the, the main knuckles that connect to your hand up against the table and have the whole finger as a gelatin finger and have cuts all through that. Um, you can have multiple cuts, like three cuts throughout it into different pieces. You can cut off just one finger in different areas. Um, you can even use like sculpt gel to get some kind of um, not as deep cuts up across the hand. Yeah, I mean, really, you can go crazy with it.